To see more content like this, subscribe to our other channel, The History of Weapons. That link is below. The 1911 is probably one of the most popular pistols on the planet. Soldiers, mobsters, gunfighters, armed citizens, and competitive shooters alike have often chosen the 1911 as their pistol of choice, and rightfully so. Invented by John Moses Browning in the early 1900s, it was in 1911 that the 1911 passed the U.S. military trials and became the sidearm of the United States military to replace the revolver. And a lot of people know a lot of things about the 1911. Well, we're going to take a look. We're going to take a look at the top 10 things you might not have known about the 1911. Starting with number one, invented by John Moses Browning, who was born in 1855, who was born to a man who was a gunsmith since he was a teenager. And being born to this type of man, John Moses Browning grew up in a gun shop. And it was when he was 10 years old that he built his first rifle. And it was in 1883 when a traveling salesman from Winchester stopped by and met John Moses Browning purchased one of his single shot rifles and took it back to Winchester and quickly they contracted this man to make lever action rifles for them. And by 1894 he had built 20 different lever action rifles for Winchester. Number two, in February of 1911, the military trials on March 3rd that same year, they used the 1911 to fire 6,000 rounds and then fired deformed rounds and that thing just kept driving on. There was a particular man loading the rounds that coined the phrase, she made it by God, and that quote was picked up as a famous quote by John Browning regarding the 1911. Number three, this is the very first gun that had no fasteners of any kind. All of its main components are held in place by the force of the recoil spring. With the exception of the grips which have a screw in it, that's the only fasteners on this entire gun. Number four, the 1911 stayed the military sidearm from 1911 to 1985. Number five, the 1911 was a very popular gun by mobsters during the Prohibition. Pretty Boy Floyd, Machine Gun Kelly, John Dillinger, Bonnie Parker all carried 1911s and had 1911s on them when they were shot or captured. Number six, pre-World War II, the 1911 was not made for civilians. During World War I, popularity for the 1911 grew, and contracts were being formed and given to other companies like Remington and Springfield, also Savage, Winchester, even National Cash Register Company, and many of these contracts were canceled due to signing of the armistice. But a lot of 1911s were not made by Colt during this era. Number seven, originally designated the M1911 by military, after intense battlefield experience, this led to some minor changes in the 1911, renaming it in 1926 to the M1911A1. These changes were mostly exterior, short trigger cutouts, longer grip safety, and better grip texturing. Number eight, today the 1911 is still in use by U.S. Marine Special Ops Command, L.A. Police SWAT, FBI SWAT, FBI Hostage, and Delta Force. It's still one of the best tactical pistols out there. Number nine, today there are so many variations of the 1911. You could buy this pistol, depending on who makes it, between $400 and $4,000. It is by far one of the most reproduced pistols out there. And finally, number 10, over 40 countries used the 1911 during wartime, including Nazi Germany, who often would capture thousands of these pistols and regularly circulated them through the ranks. So there you go, there's my top 10 list of things you probably didn't know about the 1911. I know there's a lot of great things about this gun and I'm sure I missed a lot of them, but if you have interesting stories about the 1911, definitely feel free to share them down below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe.